Hello. I'm going to show you how to use our planning map to find information about properties in North Somerset. Let's first look at the map legend. In this area you will see listed the main planning constraints that are relevant to North Somerset. To view any of these data sets all you need to do is click on the square on the right. For example, if I want to learn more about conservation areas, I click on the square. These purple areas are all the conservation areas within North Somerset. To remove this information again, click on the square and the information is removed. The same applies for each of these data sets throughout the legend. Further down the page you will see that there is information about planning applications. This is a particularly useful tool as it shows the planning applications that have been received in relation to any property you identify. Having ticked this box you will note that no information is shown. This is because you need to zoom in to view planning applications. To zoom in, click on the plus button here. Once you've zoomed in far enough, areas of land shaded green will appear. Each of these green areas indicates that at least one plan application has been received for the property. To navigate within the map to a particular area, you can left click on the mouse and drag the map. Alternatively, you can select these arrow buttons here. To find more information about a property, left click on it using your mouse. Once you've done this, this information is revealed. All the planning applications associated with that property are shown. Here for example is an application that was received in 1998. For more recent applications, if you click on the text underlined, the case file will be opened. This is the case file, where you can see the decision notice and other information submitted with the application. To close this screen, click on the cross and it is closed. Immediately, immediately below the planning applications tab, there is information about flood zones. To view this data, you need to zoom out to see. To zoom out, click on the minus button here. Another way to find a property is by using this location field. All you need to do is enter the address. Once you've entered the address, you are taken directly to the property, which is indicated by this large blue pin. You can also use these fields to change the view of the map. Of particular interest is the Aerial, aerial Photography tab, which shows the image from the air as of 2009. This concludes the video tutorial about how to use our planning map.